morning. Good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi -Yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 818, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for real. Hey, it's Tuesday, January the 12th, 2021. On Tuesdays, we talk about having a terrific Tuesday. The power of having a positive mental attitude. That if you think it's going to be a great day and you write it down and you tell other people, and then when the bullshit comes, which it will come because it comes every single day, you just say, no thanks. I'm good. I'm having a terrific Tuesday. Uh, I believe it's somebody's birthday. I think it was somebody's birthday yesterday that I know. I'm not 100%, but I think I got birthdays this week and I've forgotten. I think I know who it is, too. I think there's two ladies in my life that have birthdays this week and I don't know the day. So I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Uh, it's a work day. We got work to do. Let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for... There's a song on right now talking about being ready. There's a, like, I'm ready for the meeting that I have right after I get done with this, right? And so, feels good being ready, right? The opposite of not being ready is not ready, and that's when we feel stress in our lives, right? When you come to the realization that you got something that you need to get done, you're like, oh, it just tense all up. Yeah, I'm ready. On to our real talk. Find your lane and stay there, right? So, uh, yeah, a couple things. So, number one, Uncle Buck says this all the time to me, finding their lane. Helping people find their lane, right? Which is one of his most endearing uh, qualities. But finding your lane. So last night, you know, uh, Alabama football team won, I think it's the seventh championship in 12 years or something since uh, Nick Saban's been there. A lot, right? Obviously, Nick Saban has found his lane, and it's in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, coaching the football team. And good for him, right? Um that didn't come without a whole bunch of BS, though, right? Like, Nick Saban was the coach at LSU. I believe he won a national championship there. He was head foot, but it wasn't the right fit, right? He won the head, or he won a, uh, he was a winner at Michigan State. I believe he left Michigan State and went to LSU. And there's a story that after the last game at, at Michigan State, he addressed his players, didn't even tell the players, told the coaches, said, hey, I'm taking a job someplace else. So there's a private plane waiting for me. If any of you want to go, we're leaving tonight. So we'll leave till, you know, 10 o'clock or whatever. Wait till 10 o'clock. Nobody showed up and he left. Hard to work with, right? But he found his lane. And that's the second part of it. And stay there. So find your lane and stay there. Uh, yeah, so this morning, uh, you know, woke up early because couldn't sleep and was watching a show, American Experience on OETA, uh, talking about the code breakers and about how this little lady from Indiana became like the world's greatest code breaker. But this was in the 40s, right? And, and, and women weren't supposed to be leading teams and they weren't supposed to be doing all this stuff. So J. Edgar Hoover, uh, being a, you know, a typical white guy, uh, you know, he went ahead and took all of her credit, made it all about himself, buried her stuff down in five. Like he couldn't stay in his lane, right? Like he had to be in charge of everything. And sometimes we see this. We see this with people who are successful. They find their lane, and they're killing it. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I must be smarter than everybody else. I'm going to tell everybody else how to live there. Like, no, 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 no. Find your lane. You stay there. Now, if you want to help somebody, that's cool. And maybe you are good at something else, right? But uh, don't assume that just because you're really good in your lane, you're good in everybody else's lane, too. Seriously, think that or Find your lane and stay there. Let's do our thank yous. We're done for the day. Number one, God's been good to us in the good times and the bad. Uh, number two, I'm thankful for football. Uncle Nick, those storylines that we can tell. Uh, just came off of daddy duty. Got some art over here, right? This is uh, Addison Drew. Uh, uh, here, I'll just show you guys. It's a new thing that her and I are doing. And I'm trying to do it with Jack's here, too. That we just pull up one. Of, it's Art Hub for Kids, our Art for Kids Hub. And uh, they show you how to do something. So here's Sissy's um, Gorilla, which is really good, right? I mean, I'm really proud of her. And here's mine. There was not a tree involved, but I looked at how good city, Sissy's was, so I'm like, I got to add a tree, see if I can get some points. I would show you Sam's, but that's an embarrassment um, of his talent, and Jack did not do anything. But uh, just blessed. You know how I get after I'm with those guys for a couple days. Uh, I'm thankful that Addie was sick yesterday. She wasn't really sick. She has allergies, right? She had some post-nasal drip. She had a sore throat, so I let her stay home. Uh, but just got quality time with her, right? We drew, she drew lots of pictures. Uh, I'm thankful for Bill Belichick. I don't know if you guys saw this yesterday, but uh, the news started, I think it was yesterday morning, that he was going to receive the uh, the U.S. something, Medal of Freedom or something. And then I saw this morning, he's like, yeah, no, I'm good. 
After what happened last week, I think I'm good. I'm just going to stay away. I'm going to stay in my lane. Good for you, Bill. Uh, I'm thankful for Kyrie Irving, right? Kyrie hasn't played in four or five days in the NBA. I told people who asked me what my opinion of, of, of Kevin Durant and Kyrie playing together in Brooklyn, I said, just you, you can only plan on Kevin Durant because he's dependable. Kyrie is not. And Kyrie has missed, uh, this will be his fourth game for personal reasons. So he just didn't want to play. Like, bro, come on, right? That is your lane. Get to work. I'm thankful for examples. There's examples all around us of how to do things the right way, the wrong way. It's our job to decipher what is our lane and what's the right way to do it. I'm thankful for history. Again, I talk about this all the time, right? Like history tells us that we repeat the same mistakes over and over again. And even though we know that, guess what we do? We make the same mistakes over and over again. I'm thankful for educational television, like OETA, my local PBS uh, station. As interestingly enough, I was watching the football game Alabama started laying and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to see what is on my DVR. A couple things from uh, OETA on there. So I started watching those and I woke up this morning and my bedroom channel was on PBS. National Championship game was on last night. You tell me, right? Uh, you know what else I'm thankful for today, tomorrow? I'm thankful for it all. That's how it works, right? I'm thankful that Jack came up last yesterday, if you hadn't seen it, uh, to my daily discipline at the very end as I'm closing up shop and tell me he had a pooty diaper, right? Because that's how it works. you got to be thankful for everything, including the pooty diapers. Uh, yeah, so I'm thankful for today, tomorrow. Thankful for it all, right? With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Tuesday. You know what tomorrow is, right? You ready, Ann Barb? Hope day. We'll see you then. Deuces. Hashtag rock. Real talk. Find your lane and stay there. See ya.